Hi there, this is Mohammed Kamal. Today we would like to go through the rapid minor data cleaning. So before we start any data analysis, we have to spend our time in exploratory data analysis. But we call it the exploratory data analysis. So with rapid minor, things are very very easy. So today I would like to show you one of the sample data, the sample data, how we can explore it. So right above here under the repository, if you click the samples, you will come up with the data. It's a folder called data. You click that one and let's go ahead and look the iris. So what you need to do here is you're just gonna drag and drop it the iris data into the process. So once uh, you put this, before even you start analysis, you have to look, do you have the data? So we have to make sure that. You see the output right here, we need to connect the output to the uh, response, which is the result. We have to connect that and now we are good to go. So if you click on the retrieve iris data here, what you can see here is it show you that where your data is came from. So this is gonna be from the samples data and it's an iris data. If you wanna change it, you can change it from here, the parameters. So the next thing will be, we can click the play button at the top and see the result. So we can map with the data result. We're just gonna retrieve data result. Mm -hmm. So this data here, we can explore it in different way. One. This is going to tell us how many rows we have. We have like 150 rows. And this is the ID for each row of the data. And we also have a level for the data. Iris a sum. Yep, that's the data, uh, the level. So we have uh, Iris versus color, different uh, levels. And here is, here is the data, A1, A2, A3, A4. So these are called unlabeled data. So we have two special attributes and we have four regular attributes. So this is the way we can explore it. Now we can see, see the figures over here. And if you go to the statistics, it will give you some information here. You can get some information. That's the ID. The ID is nominal. The label is nominal too. And then A1 to A4, those are the real numbers. These are the real numbers. Perfect. Let's go ahead and see for example the a1 so the a1 here we have got a visualization from rapid minor quick visualization we can see the, dis the distribution of the data so as you can see the highest is in 5.5 and the lowest is somewhere around 7.5 so this is the exploratory and then here is the mean the mean of the data that means this is the data we have what is the mean 4.3 and the max we can get is 7.5 nine so what we can see here is that is the range actually so the max we can get is 7.9 and the average is here and the deviation the standard deviation is going to be this one so we can compare a1 to a2 and a3 to a4 so if we can click the open visualization we can have a separate graph that is done by the rapid minor analysis so we can you see we can have how the data is distributed where is the majority number what is the maximum what is the highest number what is the lowest number what count count of how many of this data we have here like nine data in this range we have here 14 data in this range so and then here we have 26 data in this thing this is under visualization so we can export this visualization even if it's not that much good but we can export it as SVG or PDF whichever way we want let's go ahead and see some annotation you can see some annotation here just the annotation is just gonna tell us the sample data that came from the iris let's come back to the table and see we we'll do some more exploratory so now what I would like to do I want to compare this uh, a1 to a2 how we can do that so under here under here with the exploratory analysis so we have this data and then under here we can find any uh, we can find any other views that we are looking for for example if there is any any data for example setosa let's say do we have a data level by called setosa so you can find it like that and if you have it you can search for it 
that is a quick search or a quick filter you can do then here you can show the special attributes you can show um, the regular attributes and if there is any missing for example show numeric attributes that's how you can show but if you come under uh, data over here for example you can show uh, all this is I'm showing me everything now if I want to show no missing attributes let's say uh, if there is any missing attributes I can check there is nothing missing attributes and I can see if there is any missing uh, levels or missing attributes you can check it here awesome that's how we can check perfect all right for the time being let's put it all and continue our exploration so this is how we can explore the rapid miner exploring a data before we analyze we can explore it this way so over here here is a quick summary whatever data we have here awesome so if you guys have any question related with this i am here to help again my name is muhammad kamal that was about exploratory analysis of the iris data until we see each other with another video and then have a great day